About 30 years ago, I discovered that my blue and white morning glory vines had some gold bugs on them. The bugs ate holes in the leaves. Uh, since you can't kill those vines, I let them feast away to a frost when they disappeared. I showed them to some of my neighbors and described them to friends, but nobody had ever seen one besides me. Do you know what these bugs were? They were shiny metallic yellow gold bugs, just the same size and shape as a ladybug. And they also had wings and flu. And this is Miss Patricia right here in Memphis. Mr. D is rocking. He's shaking his head. I think he has an idea, Miss Patricia. No doubt. They're the golden tortoise beetles. Yes, that's what I thought and, it was. Uh, they, uh, they mentioned ladybugs, they're in their, which are also beetles. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they are similar size and they also, you know, have wings and can fly. No doubt about that. Uh, and if they're eating morning glories, that's a good thing. That's a good yeah. thing. <laughs> so uh, that's a good the, thing. as far as I'm concerned, the golden tortoise beetles are just as pretty as the morning glory yeah, blooms. Right. And uh, I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about uh, uh, using an insecticide to try to control them. Uh, they, there are a couple of other plants that they, they will uh, also get mm -hmm. on. They'll get on sweet potatoes sweet mm -hmm. and, and also, uh, I'm not sure, what is it, a bindweed. I'm not sure about bindweed, uh, but the they'll also get on bindweed. But that's, that's pretty much. From, from the science geek perspective, I think they're interesting. They're one of the few insects apparently that can change color. They can. A apparently that, that, that sheen is given off a liquid that's in their wing covers. Mm -hmm. And when they get stressed out, they contract the plates in between, that makes up that cover. The liquid squeeze out, and they turn like kind of a brownish orange. Mm -hmm.